We are at the Ministry of Defence headquarters where Honorable Eden Dwale and Lloyd Austin III have signed a security agreement between Kenya and the US. Let's see how the talks go on. Distinguished uh, guests, ladies and gentlemen, the Cabinet Secretary for Defense, Honorable Eden Duali, and the U.S. Secretary of Defense have now come in to sign the Kenya-U.S. Defense Corporation Framework. Welcome. Thank you, sir. I request that you exchange the framework so that they can move forward, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, sir, I now call uh, upon the secretaries of events so that they can give uh, me the address. Thank you so much. Sir, you can count. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, welcome to this uh, media briefing. I welcome the U.S. Secretary of Defense, Lloyd Austin, and his distinguished delegation. Today we stand before you, having just concluded a highly productive meeting between the Ministry of Defense of the Republic of Kenya and the United States Department of Defense. Mm -hmm. Subsequently, I'm delighted to announce that we have just signed a framework for defense cooperation spanning the years 2023 to 2028. This framework represents a significant milestone in our bilateral relations and scores our shared commitment to peace, security, and stability in the region and globally. Let me highlight a few key points from our deliberations. One, we reaffirmed the strong and enduring partnership between Kenya and the United States. It's not just about shared interests, but shared values, shared commitment to democracy, and a shared desire for a safe and a more prosperous world. Two, the framework places a special emphasis on enhancing military interoperability between our two militaries in an increasing complex and interconnected world. Our ability to work seamlessly together is paramount. This cooperation will enable us to respond effectively to the ever-evolving security challenges in our region and beyond. Third, Kenya has long been a contributor to international peacekeeping efforts. 
and we are proud to continue that tradition. The framework ensures that we receive the support and resources necessary for our operational deployment. In this respect, we remain committed to contributing to global peace and security. More importantly, our discussion opened avenues for exploring and expanding cooperation in the field of defense technology and innovation. We believe this framework will not only enhance our defense capabilities, but also contribute to our economic growth through joint ventures and technology sharing. This framework <coughs> is a symbol of our shared vision for a better tomorrow. Both Kenya and the United States are driven by a common purpose, and together we will navigate the challenges that lie ahead. In conclusion, I want to express my gratitude to Secretary Austin and his team for their commitment to this partnership. Together, we are charting a course towards safer, more secure, more prosperous future for our nations and the world at large. I now invite U.S. Secretary of Defense to make his remarks. And thank you, uh, Secretary Duale, for, uh, for your kind words. It's great to be here in Nairobi, and it's great to be in Kenya during my first trip across Africa as Secretary of Defense. I'm grateful for your warm welcome and your hospitality. I wanted to be here in person to underscore the importance of our ties to Kenya. It was a pleasure to be able to meet today with Secretary Duale to discuss our strong defense partnership. And during our meeting today, I thanked him for hosting U.S. forces at Manda Bay and for his commitment to our shared security. Signing the framework for defense cooperation between our two countries today reinforces the importance of our strategic partnership with Kenya. And it will help guide our bilateral defense relationship for the next five years. And I look forward to meeting with President Ruto, Ruto uh, later today to discuss our strategic partnership. Now, the U.S. government deeply values our partnership with Kenya in countering al-Shabaab. We're grateful to Kenya for its leadership in tackling security challenges in the region and around the world. And I also thank the Secretary today for Kenya's willingness to consider leading a multinational security support mission in Haiti. The United States stands ready to support that mission by providing robust financial and logistical assistance. And we intend to work with the United States Congress to provide up to $100 million in support. And we, work, we urge others in the international community to follow Kenya's great example and to step up and to provide more personnel, equipment, support, training, and funding. So the United States remains committed to working with Kenya to help bring, bring stability and security to the region and beyond. And we deeply appreciate Kenya's leadership and friendship. So thank you for being such great hosts and partners. And with that, we're happy to take a few questions. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for that. I think I'll give you time so that you can fill your questions. Send photo the CDF Kenya and the US ambassador to Kenya who will join you. Unchecked. Let us have uh, the second photo we have seen. The PS and the, the PS and the CDF. Uh, may the delegation accompany the U.S. Secretary of Defense, Lloyd Austin. U.S. delegation. The, the delegation, U.S. delegation, we just joined in. Kindly. We do it fast because uh, the officials uh, are to be engaged somewhere. We need to save time. 